let's have a look at the overlay that is for me one of the most awaited overlays of all time not just because it looks cool but also because what it can tell you about your inputs and about your steering input so let's get into it so what is input telemetry and what does it do so you can see a quick demo here next to me this is showing the overlay in action so this is what you would see while you are driving on the track so what it does it's recording all your inputs throttle brake clutch and steering input and then it's showing a history of it usually these are a post race or post practice um, applications but now you get the chance to have a live feedback about your inputs so imagine you're going in a turn you hard brake you have to trail brake a bit you turn in you you pick up the throttle and you get out of the turn now if you have a quick look at what you did you will have a very good understanding whether for example here you smooth off the brakes very nicely very smoothly whether you had a good throttle pickup whether you steered too much your steering angle was too much or just enough whether it was smooth all sorts of things so it's very useful because it gives you an immediate feedback and then you can immediately react on it on the next lap so let's have a quick overview about the overlay starting from the left side and going to the right again the demo is right next to me so you can follow up with me the first thing we can see is the title it says telemetry and then right next to it there is this graph which is basically a timetable um, the time is just flowing through on this graph and then we can see the different pedal inputs the way we were using them each color represents a input so the green is the throttle the red is the brake the blue is the clutch and this white or grayish line is supposed to be the steering input now what does it mean when you see a line on the very bottom of this graph that means there is no input so you're not pressing that that uh, pedal but when you see it going up that basically means how much percentage are you pressing the pedal obviously the top is 100 percent the very bottom is zero percent and it could be very useful because again now we can see a throttle pickup um, and you can also see how you brake whether you trailed brake enough whether your your brake was smooth and so on so going to the next uh, those are just the pedal inputs you can see from the left to the right you can see the clutch the brake and the throttle again but with a different sort of representation uh, those are the live values what's actually happening with your uh, with your pedals and then if we're going again on the right you can see a wheel which which shows you how you controlling the car how much steering look you're putting into now if we have a look at the different settings what we can change in this overlay what is possible to show what is possible to hide so we have a good understanding on that so going to the settings obviously the general setting is quite uh, generic every almost every overlay looks the similar way you can increase or decrease the opacity of it and then also you can decrease or increase the size so nothing uh, special let's go to the settings so there are a couple of options you can do first of all you can hide the title if you're not interested or you don't like it uh, and then we have the input values now the input values are these little numbers on top of the pedals so if i turn it off we're not going to see the values itself but the pedal inputs are still there so you can choose to hide or show it depends on what your preference is i'm gonna turn it back on the next thing is a telemetry again the telemetry is the graph that we can see so you can also choose to hide or show it depending on again your needs and then the pedal inputs are also something you can hide or show obviously when you hide then also the small numbers are going to be hidden let's turn it back on and there is two interesting part that is optional again there is a thing called gears and speed now if you wanna if you wanna know in which gear you are you can just turn it on in uh, with connection with the speed so you can have an understanding of in which gear you are and how fast you're going 
Again, here we have a kilometer per hour. Uh, this can be changed. If you want to see MPH here, then you can just go to iRacing, change the metric to English, and then you will see the relevant metric there. You can obviously also hide the wheel, but the most important thing is that you can choose different wheels. I think by default you have the F1 wheel, and then if you go to the next one, you see the iRacing wheel, and there is a simple one, which is sort of a more condensed sort of representation. You can see the gearing and the speed within the steering wheel, a bit more compact overlay, then you can basically choose this and use it. And then the last one is um, sort of a joke. If you, if you want to be fancy, uh, you can also choose a ship wheel. So let's hit the track and see how it works while we are on the track. We're going to go, let's say, just a lap to show you what it does. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked what you've seen, please hit the like button. It helps to spread the video so more iRacers get a chance to you know, figure out that these overlays exist and they get the chance to use them. Also, if you want to get notifications and updates about the new features we're releasing, hit the subscribe button and you will be the first who get notified about the new features similar to these. Thank you very much for watching again and see you guys next time.